going on my super sandwiches rhyme style here and today we're bringing some more Yu-Gi-Oh! PSA grade returns and this one I'm super excited about specifically it's I feel like I say this every single time there's always that one card that I happen to obtain within like my months of search and I send it and the second I get that back it's like what is it what's the score um, as far as what the card actually is we'll talk about it when we get to it but what I further do let's go ahead and actually take these cards out of the box first let's go from this side uh, and stack them up and we'll talk about you know what, what kind of goodies we got this time as I mentioned in my uh, Slifer video, if you guys are subscribed to my main channel, at RhymeStyle, I did mention that uh, I am going to have a Slifer in this card, or in this box, that I plan on giving out. So if you participated in that video, uh, which I will link in the description below, like my very first video that I did on Slifer, I did mention that I was going to give one of those away to someone who interacted with those videos. So to those who patiently waited, I just got the cards back. Uh, January 29th, that's how long it took. Uh, as far as when I upload that video, it's been a couple weeks now, if I remember correctly. Alright, let's actually get this out of the box. I have so many of these like PSA graded boxes around my uh, office that I need to like get better management with them. There it is! I'm super excited about this. Alright, let's see what kind of goodies we got. I forgot everything that's in here, but we'll do our best to kind of go through everything. I got my list next to me, and the first one we got, we got Hamon, the Lord Striking Thunder. Now, I for some reason, I don't know why I started going for these. But I, I want to get all of the uh, the gods from the GX series as well in the Ultimate Rare uh, Edition. And this is the ultimate, ultimate Rare version. Now, so far, I managed to get Hamon and, uh, and um, what's his name? Fen uh, Phantasm, is that, I think that's the name. See, I don't even really know the names that much, but I just want them because I love their designs, which is basically based off of the original god cards. Yuria, I cannot get. For some reason, Yuria just never pops up on Troll and Toll. But let's see what we got. Let's hope for at least a 9 or a 10. It is first edition as well. It's a 9! Okay, I'll take the 9. This is already good. Let's see what kind of goodies we got as far as how many nines exist. Uh, Ravio, that's his name. That's the that's what his name. Lord of Phantasma. Uh, there are currently, let's see how many gods. There's currently 13 nines and 10 tens. So if I can get this as a 10, it'd be fantastic. All right, perfect. Good start. Good start so far. Next one. Let's see what we got. Uh, I can tell that the centering on this one's kind of off. Ooh, just kidding. Is it actually off? Well, this is not going to be. Actually, no, it's not. It's not off. It's actually pretty decent. All right. Exodia Forbidden One from uh, DDS Dark's uh, Dual Stories. And I'm gonna go ahead and say maybe it's an 8. It's a 9. Okay, 9 works too. 9 works too. What's wrong with it? So I, I noticed that the corners are just kind of like meh, but everything else seems great. Solid. Uh, how many 9s exist? 9 is good too. As I, as I said, every time I get 9s, it is, I'm all for the 9s. Especially on promo cards, which a lot less exist because people don't tend to really send those in. And by the time you find them and dig them up, it's like, oh, this is horrible condition. There's 25 nines and 58 tens. All right, I'll take it. Let's put this off to the side, put it back into the nine pile. The next one we got, we got uh, Sacred Phoenix Nephthys. This is the ultimate rare version. If I can get this as a 10, I'm going to be super happy. It's nine. I knew it, I knew it. These ultimate rare cards, I don't know what it is, but the conditions, they just like, they're so, they're easy, they easily scratch. And that's what ends up happening here. Uh, if I remember correctly, which I don't remember correctly, Everything else seemed pretty solid with this card. Oh, that's right. It was the bottom. Like, right here. It was kind of like meh, as you can see. That's what it is. You know, I'll take a 9 because I think the last uh, first edition ultimate rare version of this card that I sent in all came back pretty bad. Um, let's see how many these exist. There's six nines and there's one ten. Can I get that ten? One, one of these days, I'm going to get the ten. I feel like I'm the only one who sent in all those sixes because I keep, like, buying them because they're pretty cheap. The Phoenixes are pretty cheap if you get them from trollandtroll.com. All right, uh, probably another nine. Oh, it's a ten. Does that count? No, it's not mine, is it? No, it's not because this is the one that this is first edition. This is just regular. I finally got a ten. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about that. Uh, and this is unfortunately it's the regular version, but that's fine. I know I'll take the ten. I'll take the ten. The regular. How many tens exist? Let's check it out. Where is the tens on the list? There we go. Over here. There are currently three tens. I own thirty-three percent in the market. There we go. I'll take it. Perfect. Finally! I can't tell you how many times I bought those Nephthys because that was like the first deck I started using in Duel Links. Um, let's see what we got. And here's another one. This is just a regular one, non first edition. 10! Oof! Oof, what happened there? What absolutely. Oh, I see what it is. Yeah. This is just. Yikes. That's a yikes right there. Uh, don't mind my thumb. Playing too much uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. Uh, yeah, that's a yikes. Put that into, into the. Into the other pile. It's okay, I got a 10 though. I got a 10, so I'm happy. Let's right, see what else we got. Blue Ice. Regular Blue Ice. Uh, I got this as a 10 before. This one's an 8. This one's an 8. Alright, I'm not even going to look it up, to be honest. But I did manage to get this in 
as a 10, and I got the original starter deck Kaiba first edition as a 10 as well. The next goal is to get uh, the Legend of Blue Eyes, Blue Eyes, is the first edition as a 10. Uh, I don't know how easy that's going to be, because that card is pretty expensive, but we'll see what happens. Another Blue Eyes. Can we get another 10? Oh, it's a 9. It's a 9. It's fine. It's still just a regular version. It's funny how the reprints are so much cheaper. Like, to get this Blue Eyes, just straight up the Blue Eyes card uh, from Legend of Blue Eyes, it costs, like, I want to say, 20 bucks. To get the first edition version of this card, it's 200 bucks. It is a massive price uh, price hike compared to the, the first edition. But, I mean, whatever. You, know, you, you don't need a first edition. They're just nicer. We got Blue Eyes Shining Dragon from the movie. Uh, 10! It's a 9. I'll take the 9, actually. How many of these exist? I feel like nobody sent these in because there's no reason to why you would send these in. I know there's like a way better version of this that exists, um, I think in a secret rare version? I don't remember from what. It might have been from one of those retro packs if I remember correctly. There's currently three nines in the world and 34 tens. So I guess some people did send these in. Okay, let's put this into the nine pile. Over her. There we go. Put the eight over here. Uh, let's see what else we got. Still got a lot. Oh, this. To those who know, you know exactly what this is. I'm actually very excited about this. I forgot I sent that in. All right, we got uh, the European Red Eyes, not that rare. It's a first edition, but it's not as rare as the original one. Let's go for a 10. That's the first time I got that. What happened? That's the very first time I got it to say OC, which means off center. What, why? I mean, I know it's off center, I see it. But I've never had I've never had a PSA grade return come back that just says OC, because I mean, you can see how badly off center it is. So does that technically mean it's like an error card then, in a way? Because that's pretty bad printing. Whatever, I'll take it. I guess this is way rarer than um, a, a, a regular version that would be just a regular 9. How many of these red eyes exist? Where are you, red eyes? Red eyes, where are you? Is this, nope, that's not it. There we go. It's right here. There's currently only one. Wow, there's only one, and there's zero tenths, because I guess no one sent the European version in. Whatever, I'll take it. You know. I'll take the OC, that, that's, that's gotta be good. All right, so what this is, and you can see it is kind of off-center as well. Uh, this is the original Blue Eyes from like 1998. And they're pretty stupid. They're pretty stupid rare. They're very expensive and they're pretty stupid rare. Uh, let me get this popped up on the screen so I can get ready to check the score. Here we go. All right, for this you want a 9, you want a 10. It's preferably a 10. 10! Oh, it's not 10, it's a 9! I'm so happy, I'm so happy, I'm so happy. See, I knew it was going to be a 10 because, the, look at the centering. See how it's like thinner over here and way thicker on this side? This was released in 1998. I forgot which game or how it was released, but it was like like the original cards, basically. Uh, I believe they have one of every main card. So they have like Dark Magician, Red Eyes, Blue Eyes. They're very valuable. Very valuable because there's so little exists. According to this, there's six nines and there's only two tens in the world, which means I'm going to try to get me another one of these and try to get a ten. Fingers crossed. But yeah, it's really, really cool. It shouldn't be that hard to get a 10 because they're not holographic. So there's, it's like less likely to scratch. But again, you have to rely on the centering. If the centering is off, then it is what it is. That's cool. I'm happy about that. That's not the card I was talking about, by the way. I mean, it's one of the cards. Ooh, you recognize the back of this? All right, see, what, what is this? It's Red Eyes from the 2002 10. Can we go for a 10? Ooh, we're going to go for an 8 instead. Actually, how many exist? I feel like Red Eyes is like the more slept on card between uh, the original three, between Dark Magician and, and Blue Eyes. Let me ask you, between the original three, Blue Eyes, Red Eyes, Dark Magician, which one is your favorite and why? Let me know down below. Red Eyes is cool though. I feel like Red Eyes is super slept on just because he had lower damage compared to the two. But he's such a... Like, look at that design. Look at that design. It's so cool. And it's currently 1-8, mine, and then 15 higher, which means uh, split between 9s and 10s. Alright, we'll put that over here. Alright, I wonder what God card this is. It is Obelisk from the Game Boy version. It is the Secret Rare, which remember, you, if you pre-ordered it, you got the Secret Rare version. If you bought it for a limited amount of time, you had the Ultra Rare version. And let's go for a 10! Oh, it's a 10! That's what I'm talking about. Let me make sure it actually is. It is, so GB... Because there was a... I, I sent in a card, and I actually labeled it wrong, and uh, they didn't actually catch it. So what ended up happening is, is I have like a a less rare version of Slifer, but it's labeled as the, the, the Game Boy Yu-Gi-Oh! promo card Slifer, but it's not. But uh, this is definitely as you see GBI 01, I mean 02, excuse me, and it's a 10. That is a hit. That is an absolute hit. How many of these bad boys exist? Let's find out. I feel like this is this is a this is a huge win right here. Wow. There's currently 67 tens. I think he's going for like $500 a card uh, as a PSA 10, which is insane. All right, next one. What is this? Still got a decent amount of power to go through, but there's a lot. Slide for the Sky Dragon. This is the the gold version, uh, which again, if you, if you bought the game after uh, pre-order, you got this for a limited amount of time. And we got a nine. All right, it is a nine. I'm not even gonna check that actually. 
put that over here. By the way, this is the one I'm probably gonna give out uh, to those who interacted with the Cypher video from a couple of, of like two weeks ago now. It's been a good minute. I'm gonna go back into the video and I'm gonna do the random comment picker thing so you still have a chance to go find it and comment on it. Uh, and then I'll reach out to the winner after that. Cypher the Sky Dragon, and as you can see, it is GBI this time. <laughs> it's not the other one. And let's go for a 10, baby! Oh, we got 10! That's what I'm talking about! I'm sorry. I am a Cypher fanboy, okay? I know Obelisk is the coolest, but Slifer to me, it just his ability to destroy anything under 2,000 attack, it's just cool. 66 exists in the world, and I got one of them! I think the last one I got that was a 10 was actually the, uh, the one that I told you was a wrong card that came out in 2014 instead of the 2003 one, which is freaking hilarious to me if you ask me. I wonder what this is. We got the Winged Dragon of Raw in the gold format. Can we get another 10? We can! Wow, I'm getting all the 10s right now. Dude, is it? Is it possible to get all the god cards? Because I know I got some more god cards in here. To get them all as tens? Because that would be hilarious. There's 66 of these as well. That's funny. They're all 66. Wow. That's actually hilarious. Put that into that pile. What we got over here? Can we get another 10? We can actually! Alright! Dude, how many of these do I I feel like I have the most tens out of the, the raws because of my collection. Literally, like almost every single raw I bought, which by the raw is more or lesser of the popular ones between like buying them. So the cards are really, really cheap. So I remember one time I literally bought like a batch of like five of them, six of them, seven of them, and I sent them all in and they all came back as tens. So that's actually funny that I'm getting more uh, raws as tens. Um, we got the original Exodia reprint, so it's not the first edition. But hey, a ten is a ten if it ends up being a ten. But I'm probably going to say it's probably my eight or nine. It's a ten! Okay! Alright! This is probably my, one of my favorite returns so far. Like, this is amazing. How many Exodias exist? There's currently 15 of these as 10s, and I got one of them. This is awesome. I'm telling you, hop on the PSA graded Yu-Gi-Oh! Return train right now, because like, I feel like not that many people are doing it compared to like Pokemon and like sports cards. But trust me, there's there's, there's a lot of value to gain there. We got Obelisk from Show and Jump. I, I, I got the Slack version, this is a 10. If I can get this as a 10 as well, it'd be great. It's a 10! Actually, in fact, I think this is my second one, if I remember correctly. I sent in so many Obelisks that like, I just, I lost count to be honest. But hey! Another 10! I wonder what that is. It's another obelisk. By the way, the card I was talking about, I have not passed yet. It's still in there somewhere. You know what? Since we have this 10 train going, 10! What witchcraft is this? What witchcraft is this? How many of these golds exist? Let's find out. Obelisk, gold, 66 probably. Let's find out. 59, actually. 59. Alright. Is this potentially the card? It's not the card. Mirror Force, first edition. If I can get this as a 10, I will be super excited. 10! Urgh, it's fine. Nine's awesome too. Nine's a great two. How many nines exist? Uh, remember, with Yu-Gi-Oh! you do want to go for the first edition cards because Konami still puts out first edition cards along with the reprints. Anything first edition is like super valuable. And this, there's 11 nines and 30 tens. Okay, I think this might be the card. It's one of these two. Might, 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 might be this one though. It is! There it is. Needle Worm from Turn Pack 3 from 2003. This card itself is stupid it's like the card alone like if you were to find it, it costs like 200 bucks but if you get it as like a high grade let's say an 8 9 or even a 10 it is dumb valuable like i've seen someone selling a psa 7 uh Nilo for like 300 bucks before i don't know what the actual price is to be honest because it's not that many in rotation so technically the top four or five that exist as tens and nines control the entire market so if you get a nine or a ten of this it's a thumbs up let me go ahead and pull it up and be ready to look at it uh and see it is off center. It's not going to be a 10. I, I just noticed that this is off center. I think I noticed it too when I bought it, but whatever. Let's go for a 9! Yes! We got the 9! Alright! So this is what I was talking about. There's 7 9s and there's only 3 10s in the world. And because of the nature of this card or how rare it is, I don't think we're going to see any more 10s or even 9s. So like, this being a 9 is amazing. That is incredible. Now the difference between this and the other one is there was a tournament pack 5 version as well and they also had like super rare reprints and common reprints a whole lot later but the original one from TP03 or TP3 tournament pack 3 is just so valuable. This is like one of the holy grails of Yu-Gi-Oh. Not all of them, one of the holy grails because in the Yu-Gi-Oh game there's a lot of a lot of holy grails but I definitely think this is one of them. Now what is this last one actually? I have no idea. Oh, Raviel! Duh! I talked about it in the beginning of the video. Raviel, let's see if we can get Raviel, the Lord of Phantasms, as a 10. Uh, his buddy, uh, Hamon, was a 9. Can this one be a 10? 
It's a nine. It's fine. It is first edition though. I will point out that I did manage to snag a regular Yuria, a non first edition, I think regular ultra rare. Or it might have been first edition if I remember correctly, but not the ultimate rare one. The ultimate rare one is just like almost impossible to find right now, uh, especially in good condition. Raviel, they are currently 16 nines and 16 tens in the world. All right, this is a really, really successful. I mean, look at this. These are all tens and these are all nines. Like, this is a really, really good return. So, in the comment section below, if you want to see some more Yu Gi Oh! Um, PSA grade returns as well as your openings, make sure you thumbs up the video. Let me know what your favorite card is of all time as well as uh, what your favorite card was from this poll. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed today. My name is Rhyme Style, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.